hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a tag video, I think. <laughs> I was tagged by Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner and she came up with this tag video, she think it is a tag video, that show your most unique color story on in your eyeshadow palettes. I will leave Annette's video up here and her channel down in the description and I'm going to talk about 10 palettes that I have in my collection that I think has a unique color story and these are some like some that are pretty obvious like color story wise and some that maybe when you just look at them they don't seem that like special but yeah <laughs> I think we just get started. So first up is a palette that when you look at it it doesn't seem like anything unique about it and it is the secret palette from Nabla. It looks like this and I have like always described this as a everyday palette with a little bit of a twist and I still stand by it, by it, but I think it has a pretty unique color story if you're uh, Oh my god. But I think it has a really unique color story if you really look at it. You can do a look that is completely like neutral, a brown look, you can do it. If you want to do a pink look, you can do it. If you want to do a green look, you can do it. If you want to do like more of an orange look, you can do it as well. And maybe that is not that special, but I feel like when you look at this palette, it doesn't seem like too much. It doesn't seem like that is all over the place. So I think that is kind of unique with this. It's, it's pleasing to look at, but it, it's still you can do some really fun and colorful looks, even though maybe when you first look at it, it doesn't seem like that. Did I explain that good? <laughs> I don't think, but the secret palette from Nabla. And I actually have some uh, limited edition palettes in this tag video. So first up is Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly's Prism. This was a holiday palette, I think. It looks like this. This is one of my absolute favorite Anastasia palettes. I wish they would take this back. The thing is that I think is unique is mostly because it is Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is not something that they do anymore and I don't know why because this was so fun and it is like a really grungy dark palette but at the same time it has like this swear and it also has like this more neutral looks, neutral looks, neutral shadows so you can do like if you just want something you can do it but if you want like a really grungy dark look you can do it as well and I don't know if I have any palette that looks like this I don't have that but I really really like it and I wish that Anastasia Beverly Hills would still do these kinds of palettes because this is really cool and it felt like this came out before like makeup on YouTube was that big. So this, I I really love this. We can take another limited edition palette and this is from Urban Decay. It was Urban Decay and Christian Leanne Kaleidoscope Dream. It looks like this. The first time I saw this, I was like, what the hell is that? It's like shadows everywhere. They have different shapes, they have different sizes and I was like I never that is never going to be a palette in my home it is <laughs> because I saw Kristen Leanne's video about that where she talked about the shades and then I saw some makeup looks with it and this is a really cool palette I wish that Urban Decay would go back to this maybe they are a little bit back to this but the thing I think is really unique is color story wise it has these like it has like the, the blue and the purple and it also have orange gold and green and I really like it maybe I think it's unique because of like the layout of the pad but I really really like it 
I don't know where to when to use it though but I think this is has a unique color story maybe I'm a little bit fooled about the, like rambliness of it but next up I want to talk about the smaller palette and this is from Lime Crime it's the Venus 2 this is the only eyeshadows I have for Lime Crime it looks like this I just I just love this I think it's such a cool color story I have never seen anything like this and it fits so much in just eight shadows I just love this and I <laughs> really really love the mustard shade of course and also jam because that is my typical colors but this is just it is such a cool little palette I wish that Lime Crime would do like more of this. It feels like they do a lot of like pinkish things like with the other Venus palettes. But this one I think is really unique both to Lime Crime and to like the eyeshadow place. <laughs> what? And I'm also going to talk about some palettes that Annette also talked about. We can start with the Yuga's Place palette, the Festival palette. I know that a lot of people doesn't like this one, it looks like this, I really really like it, I have some of my favorite shades from US Place in this, of course it is these like, this red one and this orange red, I love them and I think this palette is so fun to play with, I love there is this blue in this and also this pink is amazing. So I know that a lot of people struggle with this and it's like, I don't like this and I really do. I think this is a unique color story both to my collection and to UVS. Then we have one of my absolute favorite palettes and Annette also talked about this and that is the Paulina palette from Blush Tribe. That is, was, this was a collab with Paulina from Paulina's Beauty and I love this. Even though I am not the biggest fan of purple and pink, I I really like this. I love like this friend shade and I love that purple, pink and green is in one palette. I don't think I've seen like any palettes with this big of variety. It feels like if it's going to be like a purple and green in the same palette, it is a bigger palette and also like a rainbow palette. This is just a nine pan palette with an amazing color story. Paulina did such a good job with this. This is one of my favorite palettes in my collection and I really, I'm so happy that I have it and it's such a cool and fun palette to play with and I feel like Annette said it feels like I say the same thing about all the palettes sorry and it feels like maybe I should have <laughs> scooched a little bit then Ace Boutique Flare palette it looks like this I love this palette I think it's the thing I love the most is I have done three looks one palette with this one and you can do like a green look you can do a blue look you can do a purple look and you can do an orange my camera shut me off maybe he thinks I talked too much ah uh, where was I <laughs> I really love this color story it is like my typical palette because it has everything I want and I love these palettes that have so much of everything, but it's not too much. So this one, I think it has a really good and fun color story. Now we only have three more palettes. The next one is Divinity from Shroud. It looks like this. I, <laughs> I love this palette as well because I love them all. It feels like the one thing I love about that about that one thing I love about this palette it is like when you first look at it it's like what am I going to do with this does anything goes together and yes it does I think this is also like it has so much in just eight pants it's really fun 
It's really cool, it's really grungy, but you can do a more no, not grungy look with it if you want to. I think they are so good with color stories. Shroud, and this is such a fun little palette. Now we have two more to go and one of these palettes I love and the other one I do not like. We can start with one I do not like. It's the Dusay palette from US Place. This is the US Place palette I like the least. It has a really fun and interesting color story but like the formula isn't there and I just don't know. I've done a free looks one palette with this one. It was not a fun video to do. I wish that I would like this more, but it's not like the shimmers in this palette is not like the US Place shimmers I know. But it is a really unique color story. It is fun, but it's neutral, but it's fun, but it's kind of neutral, but it's fun. But the quality in the shadows isn't there. I think US Place should do more of this. It feels like nowadays they do pretty like cohesive palettes. This is not cohesive, this is fun. But the quality isn't there. So US Place do another Jose palette. Jose 2 maybe. And the last palette that I really love is the Arcana palette from Shroud. It looks like this. This is like, I just love it. It is has grunge all over it. It is such an amazing palette. I love all the colors and one thing I really love about this is that to like almost all the colors it has one matte and one shimmer but it's no color that is like it's really good color store and a really unique one. I don't have any other palette that is like 100% grungy palette. It feels like grungy is my new word to say. I say it like in every video. But I don't know if I have any other palette that looks pretty like, not sad, but like toned down, but it's not. And I would like it to be more of these palettes on the market, but it's not. But this is, this is such a good palette. Is it? It's just amazing. The shadows are amazing. The color story is the best one and I have nothing like this color wise, color wise, color story wise in my collection. So yeah, I really hope you like this video and if you want to do it yourself, do it. It's just like a shadow video about your unique color stories in your collection. And Thank you, Annette, for coming up with this. You have, like, the best ideas ever. So, yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!